Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 21st through the 27th, but keep in mind the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you, okay? Take what resonates and leave the rest. This is a reading for the collective, so, you know, let's just see what happens. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas and happy uh, winter solstice so what do we have for cancer what do we have for cancer sun moon rising and venus for the week of december 21st through the 27th what do we have for cancer one card please cancer sun moon rising and venus temptation you may be tempted this week could be dealing with a capricorn doesn't have to be but this is the card of lust Okay, going after something that isn't good for you. Okay, the temptation is it is sabotage. Okay, it's it's uh, destruction. It leads to destruction. It leads to disaster. You, there could be so you may be tempted by something that may give you instant gratification, but it won't last. You may have this burning desire. Or you may need the there's like an ego here. The 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 the, the devil is ruled by ego. Okay, so there's some need to um, get some sort of attention. So whether you're dealing with a person that is looking for attention or you're looking for atten attention, it's not long term. So be careful. All is not as it seems when you get the devil card because the devil is ruled by the shadow. So you don't, what you get is, what you see is not what you get. You think about a shadow. I mean, I can make a duck on the wall with my hands. It's actually my hand. It's not really a duck. So you really need to be careful this week. You're going to be tempted by something, okay, that really isn't healthy for you. This is a toxic, unhealthy situation that you need to be really, really careful about. So you're going to be, you know, uh, needing to discern you know, what choice that you're going to make. Are you, are you going to, you know, go down the wrong path because it looks good? Or are you going to look a little bit deeper and make the right decision? So be prepared to be tempted by something um, that is probably very attractive. Okay, this is a very attractive uh, offer, per se. Okay, okay. Um, it is going to be a week of temptation, lust, greed, materialism, maybe even codependency. When you get the temptation card or the devil card, you need to break free from something. You are tied to something that is unhealthy. And it may be because of ego. Or somebody could be tied to you. You know, somebody could be coming to you because they need attention, you know, and they may be, I mean, this is, that's a very sexual energy as well. So just, just be really careful. Be really careful. The devil is out to destroy you. Believe it. Dagger, fear, worries, intense situations. So you are going to be in a tense situation this week. You are. I know that you are. I, that card says it all. Yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. You are going to feel frustrated. Fan, romance, celebration, party. Yeah, I feel like there's this does have to do with the romance for some of you. You may want to get together with somebody that is toxic. Or you're with somebody that is toxic. That you're tied to. This is this is being chained to something. And this is too. So you, there's something that you need to... It will only bring you a tense situation. You're going to be put in a tense situation. You need to break free from something. Uh, you may be partying. For some of you, I'm going to change this up a little bit. If you go to a party, you know, and, you, and you're with somebody that is unhealthy, you know, that it could lead to something more and, and really 
uh, bring you a lot of heartache. I'm just saying. Yeah, you're going to be in a tense situation with somebody. You are. You may be wanting to break free. You may need to break free, but there's code free, but there's codependency here or there's manipulation because or there's lies, you know, what you see is not what you get. So somebody somebody could be lying to themselves. I mean, the devil is a card of self-sabotage as well. You know, it's like in this deception. So you may be attracted to something that is really not healthy. Um, there could be some addictions here that are playing a part. I feel like you, I feel like you're in a very tense uh, situation for sure. Absolutely. You may be at a party with your family or with somebody, and a situation pops up. What do we have for cancer? What do we have for cancer for the week ahead? Ooh, Wheel of Fortune reverse. Now the Wheel of Fortune reverse is a setback. It's bad luck. It's somebody coming back around. There could be somebody coming back around or there's this is just bad luck. Okay? Being at the wrong place at the wrong time. It could be um, clinging to control. And this is very control as well. It's like the cycle needs to end, but somebody is unwilling to let it end. And it could be because of codependency. There could also be addiction like a sex addiction, a drug addiction. There's addiction here. This is a setback. Um, oh, it's not a good time. This is a, This is like a fall. It's a fall from grace or it's it's somebody repeating the same negative patterns over and over and over again. This could also be past mistakes coming back to haunt you. Okay. Um, not letting go of the past. Not, not stepping into new territory. You know, what the devil brings is fear, worry, intense situation. That is what the devil brings. The devil doesn't bring you happiness. It may look like happiness, but it's not. It's actually a duck. Or a dud. So, let's keep going. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to be receiving an offer from somebody. Somebody may be making an advance. Okay? Or you may be making an advance. This person may seem like they're genuine, but I don't believe they are. Four of Swords. Now this is take a break. Take time to think about this. Go within. Go within and contemplate. Contemplate whether you want to accept an offer from somebody. You may be even receiving a gift from somebody. But I feel like there's some sort of control that is behind this gift. Okay? There's, this, there's manipulation. Be careful. Be really careful. Um, <laughs> Ooh. Judgment. Yes. Now this is a card of karma. It's making a judgment call. An awakening. An epiphany. Uh, reconciliation. Resurrection. The truth. The end. A life's changing decision. You need to make a life-changing decision. You're going to need to make a judgment call. Do you want to be under somebody else's control? Because this is about being under somebody else's or being not being able to, to end a cycle. This is about being under somebody else's control. And this one is too. It's like somebody has control over you. And you're allowing it. They know that they have control as well. They know that they can tempt you. You're going to be tempted by somebody you're going to have to make a judgment call. You're going to have to really 
discern the situation. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness. This is somebody who has lost their control. They have, they've lost their power. They are feeling inadequate. They may have been rejected. Somebody else may have been rejected and now they're coming to you. And this could go vice versa. You know, this could be for the cross watcher. Um, somebody's going to need to make a judgment call. Truths are going to come out. Okay, somebody is going to be asking for forgiveness or, or maybe even asking for a reconciliation or asking for... Um, well, it looks like forgiveness. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, whether it's you, whether this is you or for the other person, or somebody is dealing with a loser. Okay, this is somebody who likes to fight that is in some sort of constant battle. This is like a one-hit wonder that is probably disgraced, maybe embarrassed. We have an overinflated ego here. There's some sort of unwelcome news here or there's news, not good news. You're going to be receiving an offer or a message from somebody that is needing an ego boost. Okay, this person needs an ego boost. I feel like we have somebody here that is very smug, very cocky, very showy, you know, totally all show, okay? Um, this person has no staying power, okay? This person may be asking for forgiveness. They're, they enjoy control. They, they have lack respect for others. There's somebody in this reading that lacks respect for others. You're going to need to be strong. You are going to need to be strong. You're going to be making a decision this week, okay? Um, you may need to take your power back. Somebody has stolen your power. They have stolen your energy or they're going to try to. Yes, sir. Now, there's no progress going to be made. This doesn't end in victory. There's a cycle that needs to end. It's like somebody that is watching this keeps repeating the same cycle over and over and over again. They have a better opportunity in the future, but they can't seem to let go of something that is dead. And because this is the death of a person or idea, it's where you release, you go within, and you take time to heal. You need to be practical. You need to be reasonable. You need to be responsible. You know, uh, don't go backwards. It feels like there's going backwards here with that Wheel of Fortune. Or somebody wants to come back around because they need attention. The devil is attention seeking. Somebody needs attention. They may romance you. Okay. They may want to get you involved with some sort of, I don't know. It could be sex, could be drugs, you know, because that's, that's, that's what that is. You have to make a decision based on your future. If you have been in a tense situation with somebody, this is a week where you make a life-changing decision. This is the end of things. This is this is a responsibility. It's a responsibility being assigned. I wonder if we have somebody here that is sick. You know, with these two cards, we could have somebody here that is sick. Yeah, somebody's coming in really, really, really fast. They are. They they are. They're coming in fast. They're coming in fast. They're looking for... They may be just... And some of you, for some... Not everybody, obviously, but this is definitely a very lusty energy. Sexual. Okay, somebody be, could be coming... Because they need attention. This is an attention seeker. Somebody is looking for attention. They're going to get it. They're going to get it. They're going to get the attention because they probably look really good. This is somebody who looks good, but this person is uh, not getting what they want. They're not getting reciprocation someplace else. Could be dealing with a uh, Leo. 
We have Leo here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Capricorn a couple of times. This is definitely bad news, okay? With that, with the temptation, with the devil card and the Wheel of Fortune reverse, it is bad news. It is bad news, okay? This is uh, something that is not going to work out. It's not going to work out. It won't. It won't last. This person may tell you. That they want something solid. But those are just words. The devil can, is a smooth talker. The smoothest talker of them all. Okay? Somebody may tell you that they want something solid. But they're just looking for an ego boost. That's what we're looking for. Somebody's looking for an ego boost. They're tired. They're fed up. They're exhausted. And they need some attention. And I think they need some attention because they were rejected. They've experienced a loss of the, or, 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 or a loss of attention from somebody else, and that's why they're coming back around you. They're looking for, for your um, forgiveness, you know. So somebody may be looking for some sort of forgiveness. They may be apologizing or something like that. Um, you're going to need to make a decision. Um, woo, love. New start in love. It's going to be very emotional. Now, that is follow your gut. Listen to your emotions. I do feel like there is somebody from the past here that you may have been in love with or that uh, maybe you are in love with this person and you have to make a decision. Maybe you're tied to something that is making you uh, frustrated and you need to break free because it's break free. You need to be practical. You need to be reasonable. You need to be responsible. Are you ready to be judged? Are you ready to tell the truth? Now, this could go vice versa. Maybe it's the other person. Somebody may be telling the truth and may be expressing their feelings after not being responsible. This is acting right now, doing it right now. Very sudden, all of a sudden advance or a sudden uh, entrance. Somebody has... Uh, thought about things perhaps and I know I'm changing it but thousands of people watch this reading somebody is definitely tied to a toxic situation and they're probably thinking about breaking free there's definitely another opportunity here there's no doubt about it but somebody is stagnant they're stagnant, they've been procrastinating, and they've stayed in a something that wasn't meant to be. Because the Wheel of Fortune reverse is not destiny, it's not meant to be. There's a karma, this is karma, and this is karma. So somebody is in a karmic situation that they're clinging to because they're weak, because they're codependent, because they don't have the willpower and the strength and the courage to break free. And even if you're not with this person, this can be mentally, mentally break free. Because this is mental. And that's the biggest hurdle of all is breaking free mentally. This is act now, think later, go now, do it now. So there's something that needs to be done right now. Somebody needs to find the courage and the willpower to do it right now. And that may mean going after their heart, following their heart, telling the truth, being honest, being ready to be judged. You know, this is this is ready to be judged. Maybe ask for forgiveness. So, you know, this could go many, many, many ways. This is a need to break free from something that is unhealthy. There's an opportunity for love here. There absolutely is. And it could be true love. True love. Seriously. But the only way you, this whoever's going to get this true love, it's going to take letting go of the ego. This is letting go of ego. We have somebody here that is very, very egotistical. This is a past connection. Okay? And I say that because this is a card of the past. Could be past life even. And we have the Six of Cups on the bottom, which is the past. Okay? So there's a lot of memories, a lot of thinking. Somebody is thinking about somebody that they loved, but they're in something that is toxic, unhealthy, and not meant to be. 
and there's a need to break free. I do believe we have somebody here that is sick. You know, they're they're ill as well. I don't know who that person is. This is a horrendous loss. It is a horrendous loss. Somebody um, is losing. It feels like a true love connection. Because of pride. Because of ego. But I do think that there's an offer coming in. There is some sort of... Somebody has, I feel like they've come to some sort of conclusion. They've gotten some sort of epiphany or awakening, you know, that they, that they got to go right now. I got to go towards my love, whatever that means. Ooh, Ten of Cups. This is, this is the end of a relationship. Somebody is going to break free. They're going to break free from a relationship that is unhealthy. It's an unhealthy relationship because their heart is pulling them in another direction. They have a strong desire to go where their heart wants them to go. This Ten of Cups, this is the end of a relationship. This is this is relationship problems. Somebody is in a relationship where there is problems. There's no... It's not meant to be. It's mirroring each other. Both these tens are reversed. It needs to end. This relationship needs to end. Whether it's mental or what. Somebody needs to really be practical. And be honest. So I do feel like there is some sort of decision that is being made this is a life-changing decision it is somebody is it feels like they're going to just do it it's like they're just going to go and they're going to be leaving behind a relationship that is no longer growing there's no no reason to stay there Yeah, somebody is going to be getting a message. They're going to be getting a message. It's going to be um, from a suitor that is very well suited. Okay, this is like, this could be a perfect match. Okay, so th somebody is going to be getting a message. This is a very deep attraction as well, a strong sexual attraction. Okay, um, somebody is going to find their courage. They are after not having it. Maybe maybe they were fearful. They may have been fearful of rejection. There's definitely a message that is coming that is probably very um it's good. It looks like it's a good message. But it comes after somebody leaves a relationship that is not compatible. Okay, so there, it, it is. I mean, that's just the way it is. Somebody has been clinging to something that isn't meant to be. But now it's like they get, it feels like it's a reality check because that, that, that uh, Knight of Pentacles is a reality check. It's, this is a golden opportunity. Somebody is going to be taking an opportunity. They've thought about it a lot. They've been in a toxic situation. They're very, very tempted to follow their heart. If you are single, you're single and you don't have anybody, there could be somebody that is bursting into your world. Okay, this person is just bursting into your world all of a sudden. This person is has probably gotten out of a bad relationship. Okay, and they may be looking for some attention. They may be looking for, for some attention. It could it could lead to love. It could, but it may not. I'm just saying because of this this Ten of Cups reverse, it doesn't look like it's a. It doesn't look either somebody has just gotten out of a relationship, or it doesn't lead to a long term relationship. It could just be sex. 
I, I just got to be honest with you. I mean, it could be sex. Somebody may be getting a sexual advance from somebody, you know. But it could be that this person is in love and they want a reconciliation and they want forgiveness, you know. And they feel a horrendous loss for, I don't know, letting their ego get in the way of their happiness. Anyway, this it somebody is going to be making a very tense uh, decision, okay? They're going to be making an intense decision because there's an offer coming in that is that you are that is very tempting, okay? It's very very tempting. Um, somebody may even be sexually frustrated, okay? Just saying because we have the frustrations here and we have a lot of sexual energy. Uh, my advice is to be realistic. Take time to think about your decision and follow your heart. Make sure that you are doing the right thing because we have karma here twice. Okay? If somebody is already in a relationship, do not do it. And I'm telling you that. I'm going to say it one more time. If somebody is already in a relationship, do not do it. It will not last and you will be heartbroken if you do. This is the end of something. It really is. With the Ten of Cups reversed, the Wheel of Fortune reversed, and the Judgment card, those are all endings that lead to a new beginning. So we could have a relationship that is coming to an end that was based on sex. Could have been a third party situation and now it's finally coming to an end. That's what happens. But there is an opportunity for love here. That Ace of Cups wouldn't be here. Maybe it's self-love. Somebody may need to find their self-worth. Their value. The Knight of Pentacles is about value. It is. And then in the Ace of Cups is about love, self-love, self-value. This may have all happened to teach somebody about their self-value. Or somebody may have learned another person's value because they lost them. Because the Wheel of Fortune Reverse is a horrendous loss. So anyway, I feel like this week you need to probably use some discernment. As you are probably, you have an opportunity. You have an opportunity for love. But you're going to have to make a very difficult decision. Good luck.